been looking at sustainable travel and different ways of operating ferries for probably over 10 years. The decision was made after some expert advice that we could go to a full electric boat. The technology is now available to do that. It's just New Zealanders getting things done and looking to the future. We've set up Wellington Electric Boat Building and we've got a tiger by the tail. <laughs> I'm an electrician. I actually literally bumped into um, the crew with Wellington Electric Boat Building on their shirt and I was like, ah, that is where I want to work. The team that we've assembled is really important. Obviously a, a boat building team of Wellington Electric Boat Building, various suppliers from all over the world, electrical engineers, naval architects and structural engineers, all of these people had to come together. Meridian Energy are our sponsors. Eker have supported the project right the way through and it's, it's been a real pleasure to have them on board. Our support was via the Technology Demonstration Fund. Uh, the fund's designed to help early adopters of innovative technologies de-risk those projects. ECA is really excited to be supporting such an innovative project. It's a New Zealand project designed for New Zealand conditions. One of the things we had to do was calculate quite accurately how long the boat would be on the water, how much load it would carry, what the resistance of the boat would be, what speed it would be doing in different parts of Wellington Harbour, what its charging regime would be to meet the customer's requirements going backwards and forward. At ECA we help disseminate information and um, you know, really help the market understand innovative technologies and how they might work for them. Two electric motors, 325 kilowatts. They're not particularly powerful. They do have an immense amount of torque. There's going to be a lot of heat produced. So there's a whole thermal management system to keep the batteries cool and all the other systems cool. Battery cages were something that we had to devise ourselves, the lightweight cages. The whole boat's built out of carbon composite to keep the weight as low as possible probably the most challenging project that we've ever worked on. It's been a whole new realm of thinking for almost every part of the project. <laughs> the boat should be able to do a run um, about 45 minutes and come in and charge for 15 minutes. But the boat will be almost completely silent. It should be a really smooth ride. This is the future of waterborne transport, especially public transport. No emissions at all. We think there'll be about a $50,000 a year saving in maintenance. There's almost no maintenance to do on the boat. We've got commuters, we've got tourists, and everyone loves the fact that we're zero emission, fully sustainable, environmentally friendly. We've had inquiries from all over the world, some 70 or 80 projects. So we're really poised to take on some orders and to start a whole new industry in Lower Hutt, building electric passenger ferries. Let's get on with it. Let's do it for New Zealand. Let's do it for the world.